here. My name is Alyssa. Today I have got a delicious weeknight dinner for you that is vegan, gluten-free, and super healthy, and also really easy to make. Today we're gonna be making my slow cooker Moroccan chickpea stew, and this is inspired by recipes that I've seen online for Moroccan food that includes spices and all of those types of delicious, flavorful, ingredients and I know that this probably isn't the most traditional recipe on the planet but it's inspired by that cuisine and I hope you enjoy it. So if you do want to try it the full recipe is linked on the blog for you so you can find that right down below in the description box and all you need to make this is a slow cooker which I will link the one that I recommend and I think that you could also make this in the instant pot or a pressure cooker. I personally haven't tested it but I think that I would use like eight to nine minutes as a cooking time. Now, before we dive in, I would love for you to join our community. If you are new around here, it's super simple. Just tap the red button that is right below this video that says subscribe. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into today's new recipe. So as I said, we're making this in the slow cooker and we're basically just gonna add everything right in there, including our onions. We have three cloves of garlic. We have some chopped up butternut squash or sweet potato. This is sweet potato, but you can use either. Some chopped red bell pepper, as well as a can of chickpeas that you drained and rinsed some red lentils, a can of tomato sauce, not jarred marinara sauce, tomato sauce, some fresh ginger, turmeric powder, cumin powder, smoked paprika, a little bit of cinnamon, sea salt, and pepper. And then we are going to add in our vegetable broth. Once you have everything in your slow cooker, you can give it a stir and just basically combine everything you will turn your slow cooker on high and cover it and then we will let it cook for a good four to six hours you're basically just looking for the stew to have thickened you want the lentils to be cooked you want the sweet potato or runner squash to be cooked and if it does thicken up a little bit too much you can add in some extra vegetable broth or water but i like to start with three cups and then see how it goes and then if i have to add more i will after the four to six hours your stew will look like this nice and thick and that pretty much does it if you do want to use this for meal prep i recommend that you let it cool completely before you transfer it into a container and then seal it and pop it in the fridge or freezer you also could just serve it up if you're ready to eat it so my favorite way to serve it is with a grain and some greens so here i have some white basmati rice but you could use quinoa or whatever sort of grain you wanted as well as some arugula i really like the bite that arugula has with combined with this kind of flavoring and then scoop on your stew and then to finish everything off this type of recipe i love a cooling agent with it and i always use coconut yogurt so i have two dollops of coconut yogurt on top and then a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes on top for a little bit of heat and that's pretty much it you can just dig in and enjoy as i said this is definitely friendly for vegan meal prep ideas if you're looking for that and it also freezes really well so it's super versatile and really really delicious and there you have it my friends that is how to make my delicious slow cooker moroccan chickpea stew i hope you enjoyed today's recipe and today's video this is such a delicious recipe it's been on the blog for a while i felt like it needed its own video because it is really easy to make and it is packed with flavor so if you do end up trying it let me know what you think you can either leave a star rating on the blog and a comment or you can just come back here and let us know what you think if you make it here on YouTube I really appreciate your time I love that you have taken some time out of your day to spend it here with me on YouTube if this is the first time that you've seen my video or my channel I would love for you to join our community it's super simple just tap that red button that says subscribe and that will subscribe you otherwise thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you have any other recipe requests down in the comments otherwise have a fabulous rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye